Hi everyone, Al from Reddit here and I'm going to do a quick video today on a respirator I recommend for dealing with the coronavirus. So here it is, JSP Force 8. So this, this respirator is perfect if you've got any dusty jobs around the house and also for keeping coronaviruses and other flu viruses out of your respiratory system. Okay, so this is on sale in Amazon at the moment, it's £17. They've got stock at the moment, I'll put a link below. If you want to get hold of one of these, I would get it fast because if the virus starts spreading your country, these are all going to be gone. So it's better to be prepared than not be prepared. Okay, so what makes this good for the coronavirus? Well, it's got a double P3 filter. So P3 filters are the same as N100 filters, depends where you are in the world. So they block out 99% plus of particulate matter in the air. Now the virus gets around through particulates. If you sneeze or cough, you release virus laden particles. Now, when you're wearing a well fitted mask, they go into this filter and then they get stuck in here and they can't get through to your mouth and your nose, which is perfect. Okay. Now, what sets this apart from, you see the surgical masks people are wearing in Asia or you see these dust mask style respirators is that these are easy to get a good fit around your mouth. Surgical masks, they're pretty much pointless if you're trying not to get infected because the air can go in for either side like that. Now then dust mask respirators, they can be really good but they're quite hard to get a good fit around your mouth and you can't easily test them. So now I'm going to show you why these masks are the best choice. Okay, so do a quick voice over here. We're going to show you how to do fitting your mask and doing a face fit check. Okay, so get the straps over your head and get the bottom strap round your neck. It can be a bit fiddly at first, but you soon get used to it. Perfect. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got a good fit around your nose and your chin because they're areas where a lot of seepages can happen. Just do a quick check, make sure you can breathe through it. Okay, so nose and chin, that's where your main issues are going to be with air seepages. Okay, get those straps tight around your head. I've got a massive head, so I don't need to do so much adjustment. But if you've got a smaller head, you might need to do more adjustments. Okay, we're ready to check. So on these are press to check filters. Press them in and breathe. Now, if you hear air coming in around the mask, then it's no good. Your face fit isn't great. So you need to do a bit of adjustments. I have done quite a lot of adjustments in this video, which is good because you can see what you need to do. I normally have this with masks when I try them on for the first time because I've got a really big head and it's, I've got a big nose as well. So it's a bit difficult for me, but you've got to get those straps adjusted, move it up and down on your face until you get that perfect fix. It's no good without a good fit because you'll just be breathing in dirty air. Okay, so almost there now. Perfect, that's a good face fit, no air coming in. Now you're going to check to your left, check to your right, look down and look up. It's important because your head isn't still and it moves up throughout the day. Perfecto. Okay, so now I'll show you how to fit a half mask respirator and do a quick face check. You can apply this to any half mask respirator you have. If you have one like I used to use in pest control, You'd cover, they'd have two circular filters on the front, you'd cover the air intake. Some have double circular filters on the sides, you'd cover the air intakes. These, this is why I recommend them. They're super simple, you just press the filters in, then you can check. Okay, so you need to be doing this every time you put one of these on, there's no excuses, every time. And throughout the time you're wearing them, you want to be just doing a check now and again to make sure you're not breathing in contaminated air. Okay, so other points on these, you may see these sold with other filters. These range from gas style filters all the way up to chemical warfare filters. Now, you don't need any of those, you just need P3s. If you're going to get an ABEC filter, which is a chemical warfare filter, it's only going to last, the, the chemical warfare part of it's only going to last about eight hours once it's being used. So that's no good for you, really. I mean, the particulate filter is still going to work, but it saves you money. It's, these are eight quid, the particulate filters. The ABEC ones are 22 quid and they're only effective for eight hours when they're being used. So you just need P3 filters, link to these below as well, the eight quid. They don't get worse over time. They'll be constantly capturing particulates up until the point you can't breathe through them anymore. So it doesn't matter if you're wearing it for two weeks, three weeks, you're still gonna be protected. It's just gonna be getting much harder to breathe through. So once they become intolerable to breathe through, once you start noticing it, that's when you wanna be replacing these filters just for your own sake of mind, okay? Another point is cleaning. So you see in here, you're gonna be getting 
your moisture from your breath is going to get quite hot and humid in there as a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Now you might be protecting yourself from the coronavirus and other flu viruses outside wearing this, but if it's dirty in here, you're going to get a lung infection or a cough from germs breeding in your mask. Now you don't need that, okay? So every time you take it off, get an antiseptic wipe, give it a clean in there, give it a proper clean down. Now and again, take the exhale valve off, give that a clean, because that can start giving you some funky smells, I know. So, that's how you keep a mask safe, that's how you keep yourself safe. If you enjoyed this, just give us a like, subscribe and a comment. Look below, we're going to have more videos out soon, so make sure you subscribe to us so you keep up to date on them. Perfect, thank you and goodbye.